Now, this is a question, a very lengthy question uh, asked in NCA exam 2005. It's a application of parabolas. So I will give you time for you to read this question slowly. And uh, once you have read, I'll come back. Hopefully you have read the question. So let's, so basically this is what the question is telling us. You got the top, the top is a parabola. So this is a parabola. And the bottom is also a parabola. Okay, and uh, they have given us some information. From that, we need to find uh, what's the length of PR. We want to find the distance from P to R. So let's let me take a point, say M. Yeah. Let me take a point M. Yeah. So if you want PR, so this is what we're going to do. We want to find PR. So if you find PM, if you can find PM, and then if you can find MR, that will give you PR. So let's start with the top parabola. The top parabola, or the top part of this tent, is can be modeled by a parabola by this equation. The equation is y is equal to uh, minus x squared over 20 divided by, sorry, plus 80. So, well, by looking at this parabola, we can say the top, the vertex of this is, this is 0, this is 0, so this should be 0, 80. So, this basic parabola has gone upside down, it has moved 80 up, and there is a stretch factor of 20. Okay, so can we find this point? This point is useful. What's the coordinate of this point? And this point the coordinate of these two points would be the same and can we find the coordinate of this point and this point so, so, so let's say this is n so how can we find n what what are they saying there are pr and qs this is pr and qs are help to keep the tent upright so these are the poles which keep the pole sorry the tent upright they're 25 centimeters from they are 25 centimeters from the center line of the tent. So this is the center line of the tent. Okay, and so well, this has the coordinate of M has to be minus 25 comma zero, and the coordinate of N has to be 25 comma zero. They are 25 away from the center line. So now can we find this F? The coordinate of F and D are reflection of each other. So, well, f is a point on the top parabola. So, what can we do? Well, we can say, let's write the top equation of the top parabola. y is equal to x squared uh, minus x squared over 20 plus 80. So, we need to find the x coordinate of that point. We know the y coordinate is 0, so it is something comma 0. And this coordinate would be something comma zero okay so we know the y coordinate is zero so we can put y equal to zero here so if you put zero here so zero is equal to let me use a white color so zero white white is not a color so zero is equal to minus x squared over 20 plus 80 okay so taking away 80 from both sides, we can say negative 80 is equal to minus x squared over 20. This implies multiplying both sides by negative 1, I can say 80 is equal to x squared over 20. Okay, I'm going to do in uh, many steps so that you understand. So this implies multiplying by 20 on both sides. 80 times 20 is going to be 1600 is equal to x squared. And finally, this implies x squared is square root of 1600, or x is equal to square root of 1600. Now, square root of 1600, you can use a calculator. The calculator by default will give you 40, but the actual answer here is plus or minus 40. That means the coordinate, the coordinate of f, is 40 comma 0 
and this is minus 40 comma 0. So this is how you tackle this type of question where you try to get as much information as you as you can. Okay, now what's the next part? The bottom part of the tent can be modeled by a parabola. So the bottom part is also a parabola and we know the vertex or the minimum of that parabola. Well, that is at this is at minus 20, so the coordinate would be 0, uh, zero comma minus 20. What else do we know? The length of fg is 10. The, dis the length fg, this is 10. So what's the coordinate of g? Well, the co x coordinate of g is the same as the x coordinate of f. So this will be 40 comma negative 10. So this is how you process information. So what can we do? So we need to find, okay, so let's, can we find the coordinate of P? Now again, P is in the top parabola. So let's see, write that top equation of the top parabola, Y. So let me use white color, a white, Y squared is equal to minus X squared over 20. So I want you to think why I'm finding the coordinate of P uh, plus 80. So how can we find the coordinate of P? Well, the coordinate of P, I know the X coordinate is going to be, the X coordinate is going to be minus 25. We know the X coordinate is minus 25. So we need to figure out what's the Y coordinate. Once you know the Y coordinate, what will that tell you? I want you to think yourself. So let's put negative 25 here. So when we put negative 25, y, y squared, y squared is going to be minus of minus 25 squared over 20 plus 80. You can use your calculator. So this is going to be positive and you've got a minus here. This is negative 25 times negative 25. I know it's 625. So I know this should be minus 625 divided by 20 plus 80. So let me get my calculator. Let me show this on a calculator. Menu, run. You can do it like this. Minus bracket minus 25 squared divided by 20 plus 80. The it's 48.75. So this, uh, okay, it's not y squared. Okay, what am I doing? This is not y squared. This is only y. Sorry. So, so this is only y. So y is uh, plus 48.75, and it does make sense. Y is 48.75. Or basically, what is this information telling me? That so let me write this as 48.75. This has given me a vital information, 48.75. Well, if the y coordinate of P is 48.75 and the y coordinate and the x and the y coordinate of M is 0, what does this imply? This implies, this implies, let me use a green color. What does this imply? the distance of P from the baseline, or this is the center line, is 48.75. This height is, the dist height of P from this baseline is 48.75. So we can say we have found this. We can circle that. Now we need to think how, how, I, how are we going to find MR. Now to find MR, we need to write the equation of the bottom parabola. So we know the maximum of or the minimum of the of this parabola. We know the minimum of this parabola. So I can say the equation of that parabola should be y is equal to a times x minus xv the whole squared plus yv. The equation of any parabola is x minus the x coordinate of the vertex. This is the vertex plus the whole squared plus yv. 
So we know xv is 0 and yv is negative 20. So the equation is y is equal to a times x squared because xv is 0 plus negative 20 is minus 20. So now we need to find out what is a. So let me scroll this up slightly up. So what can we do? So well, what do we know? We know this point. This point is a point on the bottom parabola. So we know when x is 40, y is negative 10. y is negative 10. So we can put this in this equation. So well, this becomes negative 10 is equal to a times 40 squared minus 20. So negative 10, 40 squared is 1600, so this is 1600a minus 20. Now adding 20 to both sides, I can say 10 is equal to 1600 divided by 1600a. This implies a is 10, dividing both sides by 1600 is, so this implies a is 1 over 160. A is 1 over 160. So now we are almost there. So we can say y. So let me drag to this side. So now we can say y. The equation of the bottom parabola is 1 over 160 times x squared take away, take away 20 or minus 20. So what do we do now? We want to find again the coordinate of this point. The coordinate of r is minus 25 comma something. That's the y coordinate. If you, if you find the y coordinate, we can find the height from m to r. So again, we can put minus 25 in this equation and get the y value. So y is equal to uh, 1 over 160 times minus 25 squared minus 20. So this is same as, so let me drag this up slightly, so y is basically, this is minus 25 squared I know is 625 divided by 160 take away 20. And this number has to be negative because it's below the x-axis. So let me use my calculator. So what are we saying? This is this is 625. So let me do it like this: 625. Oops, 625 divided by 160. Take away 20, which is minus 16. You can say this is minus 16. Round it to minus 16 or six, minus 16.1 if you want to round in 1 dB. So y, the y coordinate is minus 16.10 okay and this is almost done so this coordinate is minus 16.10 so this height so we can say this height this height is 16.1 and we already found this height to be 48.75 okay so we're almost there so we can say p PR is 48.75, 48.75 68 plus 16.10. Okay, so which is how much? This is 64, am I right? 64.85. So let me confirm this on a calculator. 48.75 plus 16.10. Is 64.85. So the total height of PR is 64.85 centimeters. The unit is important because here the question is in centimeters. It says 10, these are, units are in centimeters.